Hey, what's up Snapchat users? My name is Vernon. I'm a style blogger at vernonsblog.com and I'm going to teach you how to use the Snapchat app in the App Store. All right, guys. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the App Store and type in Snapchat and download the app. I already have it downloaded, so I'm just going to simply click open. Now, when Snapchat first opens up, you see a home screen here. It's basically like news feed. So, kind of similar to what you would see on Instagram or Facebook. So, the first shirt I see here is this simple t-shirt with a giraffe and if you scroll down you'll see other shirts that other users have designed to try to kind of give you some inspiration on what to do on how to design something and what all the snap tea app is capable of so if you look down to your bottom left corner you're gonna see the home screen that's the home tab that's gonna bring you to your news feed. Then to the right of that is the magnifying glass. And here you can search for any hashtag, any design to get inspiration. Let's see, I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna search cat. And I'm gonna hit cat and let's see what pops up. Oh, look at that shirt, that is pretty awesome. Wow, so a username by the name of Paul Lung designed this shirt and he put this picture of this cool looking cat look like it's reaching out for something on this shirt which is pretty cool so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna first I'm gonna like that because I think that's pretty awesome so I'm gonna go back to where I was and I'm gonna keep scrolling down just to get some inspiration and you see all these designs with with cat involved isn't that pretty cool you can search for anything you want to search for I'm gonna search for I don't know pool Let's search for pool, as in swimming pool. So there's some shirts that has something to do with pools. Pretty random, right? But you get the gist of it. So there, with the magnifying glass, you can search for anything. Kind of very similar to Instagram. You can search for anything you want to search for. And keep in mind, guys, you can purchase any of these shirts. Any of these shirts, if you see a cool design that's worth buying, you can buy it straight from the app. And it'll go straight into your cart, and you can buy it. So let's go to the next tab. The next tab is the, I don't know what the next tab is. I don't know what you would call this tab here in the center with your red circle around it, but I do know that it takes you straight to the style of shirts. Now at the bottom here, guys, you're gonna see a cat symbol. You're gonna see a person icon. You're gonna see a geometric icon. And then you're gonna see a letter icon. This represents basically the kind of shirts that you can design. And to also, of course, give you some inspiration. Now, for example, the cat design shows you all the shirts with cats on them. The person design with the square around it is gonna show you all of the shirts with either people or public figures or, some, or a character on the shirt. The geometric logo is going to show you the shirts with all geometric designs on it. And then, of course, the A symbol is going to show you all the shirts with text that you can do as well. Basically, you can um, just pretty much just go from a V-neck to a crew neck. Um, I don't know why they have designs in here because when you click on a shirt, all it's going to do is just um, pop up the design of the shirt and then it's going to pop up. Um, pictures in your new in your camera roll so that you can apply the design to the shirt so I've already chose some pictures here from online so remember that cat I was talking about well I found my own cool cat and I'm gonna choose him to go on this shirt here and of course it says that I need a higher quality picture so to maximize your design you want to make sure you find an image that has a really high quality resolution instead of a small quality because you don't want it to come out really blurry or anything like that now this has left his life design on here and i don't want that on there so i'm just gonna first i'm gonna hit delete that i'm gonna delete that because i just want my cat on the shirt okay so i'm just gonna click him and i'm gonna move him back up there and very simple and all you and if i want to add text i can go down here to the text i'm gonna name him felix the cat so i'm gonna delete alone and hit Felix here and then up here if you go to up in the upper right corner if you click on the shirt you can go from crew neck men's crew neck female a kid shirt v-neck a tank top you can try all these designs and you can also change the color of your shirt right up here at the top of the screen and then I'm gonna hit the red circle button again and that's gonna save this to my locker room and then from here I can order it and I can leave it 
for other people to order. And it's that simple. Now, as you can see, we are inside my locker room here and you can see all the designs that I've designed. Now, if you want to delete a shirt, no problem. Just click on it, go in the upper right corner where the three dots are, click that. And then you're gonna scroll over and you're gonna hit delete your design. And bam, like that, it's deleted. Now, let's say you want to make your shirts public so that other users could possibly um, buy your own shirts. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go in the upper left corner here to the settings tab. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna make sure that private account is not on. And in this case, mine is not on. And if you want your private locker to be private and you don't want anyone to see your designs or buy your shirts, you're just gonna to simply toggle it until it turns green, okay? So I want mine to be public, so I'm gonna turn the toggle off, okay? Here, you can also edit your profile. You can change your profile photo. You can change your display name. You can even type in a, a little bio about yourself. Remember that shirt that I liked earlier with the gray cat reaching out for something? Well, if you go over to the like tab on your profile in your locker, you'll see that all your like shirts will be right up under here. If you click up here in the upper right corner, the bar graph little symbol there, this is gonna take you your news and your activity feed. So kind of like Instagram, you're gonna see who follows you, who likes your shirts, or maybe even who purchases something from you. Thanks so much for tuning in on today's tutorial on how to use the Snap T app in the App Store. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. See you guys.